and near his heart, uh, near his heart that he might love her dearly. And from beneath his arm that she might have his protection. <laughs> Joshua, God says many things in his word about husbands. He said, husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. His challenging definition of love is sacrifice. Christ gave himself up for her, the church. In like manner, a husband sacrifices because of his love for his wife. He puts his wife's needs above his own to cherish her by choosing her to be first place in his life with God being Lord over all. Christ led by well. serving those he loved, not by being served. In the same way, a husband leads through loving devotion and service to his bride for as long as the two shall live. Joshua, God made you a very special person. Little did my wife and I know that uh, when we flew to Thailand, we would arrive on the day that you would be born, and that one day I would be standing here performing your ceremony. You've been an inspiration to us through the years. Very early on, you had a way with words that kept your mother and grandmother constantly entertained. <laughs> Around the age of eight, I discovered that you were a guy with big dreams and confidence to fulfill them as I watched you quickly get up on the knee board as I drove the boat. And immediately you tried to jump every wave and perform like an Olympic champion when you barely knew how to stay afloat or swim. <laughs> but to my surprise, you survived every crash in the lake and soon became a very skillful athlete. I can still hear your name being shouted out through the Yuba City Honkers football stadium as you would run for one of your many touchdowns as a star running back. You made it known to a number of people that you were not interested in anyone on the campus at William Jessup University, but if you would be, it would be one woman named Jackie. <laughs> Congratulations, you wheeled her in. <laughs> I understand that when you finally asked Jackie to marry you, you got down on one knee and could not get the ring out of your pocket. <laughs> Jackie thought you had a cramp or something. <laughs> I'm so glad you found it. And the neat thing about it is that Jackie will never starve because as you were growing up in Thailand, every time you saw something move, be it a snake, a rat, a chicken, or a gopher, you would kill it, and you would bring it home to your mother to cook for dinner. <laughs> Good luck, Jackie. <laughs> Joshua, you are bringing to Jackie a sincere and deep commitment to the Lord. You are devoted to our Lord and committed to faithfulness to him and Jackie. You have high ideals and a strong vision and a passion to be useful in serving the Lord and making a difference in the world. You have a strong work ethic coupled together with a great sense of humor. And God is building in you a great and magnificent future. Joshua, you have chosen from among all others, Jackie, to be your lawful wedded wife. Therefore, I charge you in the sight of God and in the face of this company to be true and faithful to her so long as you both shall live. To love her dearly, to exercise your God-given leadership in the home, to put your relationship with her above all relationships, to seek to understand her joys and her sorrows, her happiness and her hurts. To not only listen to her, but be willing to share with her your feelings and thoughts. To cooperate with her in the making of a comfortable, peaceful, and happy home. And then forsaking all others, to devote yourself wholeheartedly to being a loving and faithful and devoted husband so long as you both shall live. Jackie, God has some important things in his word for you. He said, an excellent wife who can find, for her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband trusts in her. Charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who trusts and respects the Lord, she shall be praised. The greatest gift that you bring to Joshua is your heart for the Lord, and you desire to serve the Lord all of your days. To trust the Lord builds his perspective and power into your heart, giving to you the greatest opportunity to succeed in life and marriage. Jackie, you're a very special lady. And little did I know when I saw you kicking a soccer ball all over the field and becoming a star player, that one day you would be kicking my grandson around the campus. <laughs> 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 
I had been told that when playing soccer and the team needed that extra push, it was their captain, Jackie, that usually came through and gave them the extra push and kicks they needed. So Joshua, good luck, and uh, <laughs> wear your shin guards. <laughs> I was amused when I came to understand that when you brought different young men to your home to introduce them to your family, that your dad tended to be a bit hard on them. So when you prepared to bring Joshua home for the first time, you told your dad, you said, now, Dad, this one is so different. Please be nice to him. And he was, and look what happened. And we couldn't be happy for you, happier for you. Jackie, you are bringing to Joshua some very special qualities. I wish that all of you could have been in our home a few weeks ago when we had a shower there for Jackie, and there were a lot of her friends there, 20 or more. And they just kind of went around the room and expressed some of the heartfelt feelings that they had for Jackie and how she had contributed to their lives. And Jackie didn't know it, but I was back in my home office with the volume turned up so I could hear what some of these comments were. And here are some of the things that were said of her and also by some of her friends since then. You are steady as a rock, a devoted Christ follower determined, feisty, and at times stubborn in a good way, competitive, very loving, loved by others, compassionate in serving children, kind, considerate, strong, funny, dependable, realistic, humble, honest, organized, and loyal got a lot to live up to. <laughs> but we see those in you, and we're here, here to affirm them this afternoon. Jackie, you have chosen from among all others, Joshua, to be a lawful wedded husband. Therefore, I charge you in the sight of God, in the face of this company, to be true to him so long as you both shall live, to love him dearly, to cooperate with him in the making of a comfortable, peaceful, and happy home and forsaking all others to devote yourself wholeheartedly to being the loving wife for as long as you both shall live. To guard well the integrity of his name, which you henceforth shall wear. To seek to understand and encourage him in his life and ministry. To be willing to be given to his leadership in the home. And to seek to fully communicate until understanding takes place. God bless you, Jackie. Would you now face each other and give the vows that you have prepared to share with each other, to give them at this time. And Joshua, would you go first? Jacqueline Tanya Cassell, standing here today humble. Humble because all my life. I never could have imagined a woman could break me down or look back to a better man than ever could have been on my own. I've never known someone so admired by others so loved by those who have come in contact with you. And I feel so privileged to have gone to witness firsthand just why. <laughs> I love you with all that I am. Because of that, I'll give you all that I have. We will have a heartache. But in those trying times when we may not feel the love, I promise to always choose to love you. Just as this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in that. I know you're the woman God has given me, and I'll rejoice and be glad in you always. No matter the circumstance that life throws at us, this world will try to tear us apart. But it's my vow to you today that no matter what temptation, no matter what pain this world puts in front of me, I will stay committed to you. I will respect you. Most importantly, I will love you all the days of my life. And I will do these things when you are looking, and more important than when you are not. I can't wait to start my life with you. And I'm so thankful you chose to call me yours. I love you. <laughs> Joshua Detlef Shatner, I love everything about you. The deep and intimate relationship you have for Christ, the way you always put others before yourself. 
the way you cherish each and every conversation with everyone you come in contact with. <laughs> the way your smile slightly off to the side, your scar on your right shoulder, your sacrifices, the joy that you bring and that you have. I love the way you would lay down your life for anybody in need. That you can make me laugh or smile in any situation. I love that there's no doubt in my mind that you love me. I'm so honored to become your wife and grow old with you. To face the challenges life throws at us and to accept the path which Christ has for us. I promise to keep drawing you closer to God, for he should always come first in our marriage. I promise to support and encourage you throughout this journey. I promise to always stand by your side and always respect you. I promise to love you with an unconditional love which Christ has for us. I promise to dance to chestnuts with you every Christmas morning. <laughs> and I promise to learn to cook like our parents. But only if you promise to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be the best wife to you and the mother to our unborn children. But most of all, I promise to rejoice with you in each and every passing day and celebrate our blessings as well as our trials that bring us closer together. Wow, thank you. It's uh, time for us to wipe our noses. <laughs> Joshua and Jackie, mm -hmm. will you each endeavor to live your lives in complete unity and harmony and understanding, sympathy and cooperation, ever give us, giving the best of yourselves, ever cherishing and sustaining one another? Yeah. What tokens do you give in acknowledgement of these vows? These rings are of gold, precious. So may your love for each other be the most precious earthly possession of your hearts. These rings are circles without end, a symbol of eternity. So may your love be to all eternity. Joshua, as you place this ring on Jackie's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. Jackie, as you place this ring on Joshua's finger, repeat after me, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> Let's pray. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for this moment of joy and celebration and hope and confidence. As we look toward the future, Lord, we believe you brought these two together. And we now ask that you would bless them in a very special way. May their hearts always be filled with your love for you and for each other. May you work in them and through them to reflect your glory and your joy and to help change the very landscape of eternity. Lord, we are here as friends and family with hearts filled with rejoicing and overflowing with thanksgiving at just what lies ahead for these two. And we just ask now, Father, that you would bless them, that you would use them mightily, for it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. As you step forward to light the unity candle, may that reflect your oneness in Christ. God bless you.
now in as much as uh, Joshua and Jackie have given and exchanged vows and rings in the sight of God in the face of this company. Now in accordance with the laws of God in the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. Oh, we'll walk out after them. Yeah. 